Good afternoon everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. Hi guys, I'm here in Rochester, Kent. Good afternoon. Um, so, we're having technical difficulties, so I haven't uploaded a video since the last one because my battery got drained. I actually went outside to, and I was taping uh, going outside and I threw my rubbish out in the bin and I had Max with me and I taped right onto the field and weird things kept happening with my phones. So I had actually charged my phone overnight, this Samsung phone, and it said it was fully charged. I got into the field and the builders were working today, the builders, so there was builders working on the over 55 flats on a Saturday, which they're usually not there. And there was this funny smell. Uh, there's a boat docked called Katie, uh, just across from the, the field, and there was this stink of rotten shellfish, and it was making me feel sick. It actually smelt of rotten cockles. I, I, when you go to the seaside and there's this smell of cockles of mussel, but that's a nice smell. The, the smell that I smell, smelt of like uh, dead fish and cockles and mussels that had gone off. I can't explain it. It was a really bad pong. It was a really, really bad smell it was making me feel sick so i started to feel giddy on the field giddy and unwell um, i managed to keep myself together till i got off the field uh luna was on the field with the red collar the black dog and the dog's actually called lunatic and luna luna's owner was stood on the field in a green mat and no, no, everyone was well behaved. They were looking after their dogs. So I got nothing to complain about. I just, um, I was going to do a couple of TikToks on the field with my Samsung phone, and I went to look at my phone, and the screen was all blank. It was all dead. So I thought that's funny because I charged that last night. And so I couldn't do any videos and then I thought, right, I'll get my iPhone and I'll take some pictures, you know, photographs of the castle and the cathedral from the field. And I started taking photographs and that phone was 100% fully charged. It was on all night. So I started taking a photograph of the castle. I started taking a photograph of the crane. And then all of a sudden, that phone died on me. That phone went dead. So I have been charging my phone, guys, since I came back from the field, which was about oh, two and a half hours ago. And it's still not charging properly. It's still on a very low charge. So I'm going to try and upload this video without the phone going dead and we'll see what happens. Also, something else that was strange, um, I decided to write a couple of pages in my diary. And I was sat on the chair and I had my pen in my hand and um, I just started writing. Um, so this is, this is the bit I wrote. Right, I, I carried on up to the field and we had a walk. Luna, Luna's owner was on the field in a green raincoat. The black Labrador puppy with a red dog collar on. I walked around, men mainly on the field walking dogs. My mother usually calls. She hasn't called since yesterday afternoon. And then I go on to write... 
Last night I watched Man B on Netflix, a comedy TV series starring Rowan Atkinson, who is 69 years old now. I was laughing late at night, it was really, really funny. It's about a man who's, who house sits this really posh house and this bee annoys him and the house gets destroyed all because of this bee. Mum's called. Weird that, at 12.15pm, she actually called after I'd written that my mum hasn't called yet since yesterday afternoon. And uh, then the post lady rang my buzzer whilst I was writing my diary. The post lady. So I, it's been fairly quiet today. It's been a really, really quiet day. And I'm glad because I felt sick when I came off the field this morning. I've also had a shower. I had a shower this morning because when I went out on the field, my boots... My boots have got a zip on them and the water, the rain, when I walked on the field on the grass, the rain soaked my socks. My feet got mud on them, so I thought I'm going to have to have a shower. So I had a shower when I got back uh, and the smoke alarms all went off. Uh, they went off, but I didn't jump out of the shower. They just make a tingly, like, dingly noise, tinkly a noise and they go off because this, when you put the hot water on and the steam seeps into the living room it sets three smoke alarms off and I thought I'm not getting out of the shower and I just I just shut the bathroom door which I, I couldn't breathe because there was steam everywhere and I didn't uh, I didn't get out of the shower naked I just put towels around myself um so the post lady rang my buzzer and she said, I put a parcel in your box, which she did. Then I went back to sit down because I'm on a go slow today. I feel sick and I feel slow and tired. So she, I had to get up off the chair again. She rang the buzzer again, Hazel, the post lady. And she went, do you want me to put your parcel in the lift? So this parcel was sent up to the first floor and I thought, well, my mum said she was going to send me some post. So I came back in with the parcel and then I went back down in the lift and I've opened my post box number five and there was, another, there was the parcel and my mum's letter that she said she'd sent out. Now let's hear my mum's message and this message was sent at 12.16 I'm in Gloucestershire I used to write shopping lists and everything that I had on the shopping list was either out of stock or a member of staff was stood by it with a trolley 
obscuring what I wanted to buy. No word of a lie. He was like, my mother's watching my every move and listening to what I'm saying. That's really creepy. It just feels like your whole life is controlled like a little baby or a child. Even private conversations, which is really, really creepy. So now I'm going to show you the post. The first part, this is the post that was sent up in the lift. White package, white, small parcel. Small parcel, Royal Mail. This has come from 9A, 9A. Remember my, uh, I'm five, not nine. So 9A Chapel Road Ride. It's my game box, game box, and I wanted a green one, little game box plus, right? This is just the retro, reminding me of Game Boys, uh, you know, Game Boy consoles years ago, Game Boy and Game Boy Plus. This is just... Um, this has come from China, so it's written in Chinese, but you can have it in English. It's a digital game system, three inch, three inches. See someone's sense of humour and I'm a woman, I'm a female. This is someone's sense, uh, sense of humour. Digital game system, three inch inches. The, the console is slim, portable and trendy. Digital multi-platform device can play on the television. You've got a lead that you can attach to the television. You can also buy a, an extra controller for it to connect two players together. Right? Powerful rechargeable battery plaque includes an AC adapter and a lithium rechargeable battery six hours of continuous gameplay it's made in china so let's turn it on chinese or english you want chinese 500 games in one Go for Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Angry Birds. way back when with Super Mario on the Game Boy so this is what was in my box um, this has come from Bell Heathway in Birmingham this is the parcel the post lady put in my box and it's a blue baseball cap blue result headwear Uh, the question is, guys, is this going to fit my head? The T-shirt, so I ordered a navy blue cap to go with my T-shirt. This is not navy blue, is it? That is not navy blue. This is navy blue. Still got this T-shirt, I haven't sent it back yet. That's navy blue. So I ordered a navy blue cap to go with the t-shirt and what colour is that? It's not navy blue is it? 
Will it fit my head? I think, yeah, that's going to fit my head. Right. Let's try this hat on. I'm not going to complain about the hat because the hat fits. It does fit. It's not navy blue. So, I told you that people think I'm a fella, right? So, we've got a small package with a three inch console. That's hilarious. Now we're going on to my mum, my mother, Jennifer's letter. My mother, she's got, it looks like the sun, the sun on the back of the envelope. And two King Charles stamps. Someone's got a very, very, very wicked sense of humour. There's a lot of men walking around with black baseball caps on. I'm a woman. A female. So, my mum sent me some money, which I'm absolutely grateful for. Friday, 26th of April, 2024. 7.20pm in the morning. Dear Janestra, just a short letter thanking you for coming to see me this week. I hope everything is going well for you and also I do hope that you, Janestra, are feeling a lot better. Excuse the rushed handwriting, but I am eager to put this little letter, little, little letter into the post box as I hope it receives you before the weekend. Bye for now, Mum. And she's in close some money, it looks like 333. Three, three. But you see, little letter, I am a female. The last time I looked, I was. Little letter. And a small three-inch console. Which I've paid for, and that's been battered. That's come, the box is all battered. The hat is the wrong colour. And, you know, I'm not cross and I'm not angry. I'm just very tired. I've smelt what smelt like rotten cockles on the field. It did. Rotten cockles. And I'm trying to write my diary. And all, it, all somebody is interested in is the size of someone's you-know-what. Which really doesn't make a difference because... If I was a bloke, and I'm not, it's not the size of what you've got, it's what you do with it. Okay. It's how a, it's how a bloke treats you, it's how he treats you, how he, he treats you as a woman, it's not what's in his trousers. It's what a man treats you like. If he treats you like a woman, opens the doors for you and is kind and considerate and caring and there's a 50-50 relationship and he helps you look after the kids and he's a good guy, it's not to do with the size of a bloke's penis, is it? I mean, that is childish as well. Not only is this person stupid, they're also very childish. Silly. I am a woman, I'm sick and tired of this crap and I'm trapped in a prison that I can't get out of. And I haven't been in the co-op this morning and Kim knows I'm a woman herself. She, she, said, she said it herself. Now he's in upstairs with his kids and... Be, it's not, not too bad at all. 
I've not got any any cause for complaint whatsoever. I'm in my flat on my own with two cats and a lovely dog and I'm trying to have a peaceful, quiet weekend by myself. If that's okay with everybody else. And laughing at the size of blokes uh, of blokes uh, endowment. Really? Really, really, really. Well, they're going to have a shock because if it is a woman harassing me, a female harassing me, I'm missing something. And they're going to come in for a big shock, aren't they? Anyway, guys, um, I'm just going to, I'm just trying to, I feel a bit dizzy. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee, have, have a snack or something and continue writing all this down in my diary. But I've grown up, I'm like the stalker and I do, I'm beginning to think it's a female. See you later.